What's up guys, I'm Caddy here, and today we guys a brand new video where what we're going to be doing is having a look at Volcanion and some potential movesets for it, because it's a really, really interesting mon. You guys have been talking quite a bit in the comment section about potential sets and stuff like that after my video about whether Volcanion is going to be up in Ubers or in OU, so I figured why not let's make the assumption it's going to go into OU and have a think about what potential sets we're, gonna, we're thinking about um, and stuff like that, because... There's quite a few different roles this guy could fit, and uh, as you can see, I've got six sets here, all of which I think are legitimate in the current OU metagame, and uh, should be quite interesting if they do once Volcano does get released and is introduced. So, the first one we've got here is what I would believe is going to be the standard set, which is going to be the standard Assault Vest set, because Assault Vest on this guy, it patches up its slightly lower special defense, because they're, you know, 80, 120, uh... In, you know, in defense is actually really, really solid, even without any defense input. You've still got 248 in HP as well, which means you're going to be taking physical hits really well, special hits incredibly well, and with the 130 special attack, modest boosted, you're going to be hitting incredibly hard. So, uh, the moveset I thought would be the most popular to go for would be, obviously, Steam Eruption. You're absolutely mad not to run Steam Eruption on this. Fire Blast, because that gives you incredible hard-hitting power. Earth Power, because that is pretty much the only move that allows you to hit opposing Volcanians on the Switch. So I figured that's probably the best way to go. Uh, also, just in general, just hitting them very, very hard, especially if they got the Assault Vest. That could obviously change to a um, to Earthquake or something like that. If, uh, if this set becomes immensely popular and people may start doing that, and uh, obviously changing the nature so that they've got a negative speed nature instead. So that means they're hitting on the physical side and don't have to worry too much about the Assault Vest on Volcanion. So that could be a potential sort of thing, but it's, it, as, as a standard set, I think this is what it's going to go to. And then finally, um, Sludge Wave on here allows it to hit fairies very hard as well. And um, especially with things like Clefable, I think Clefable may end up being a prime switch into this. Especially with the fact it doesn't really care about burns. So having something like Sludge Wave to hit that really, really hard could be a really, really interesting move to run as a sort of final coverage move. Uh, we've got the final eight we've got in speed. That could be gone and obviously special defense or something like that. It doesn't make too much difference. But uh, that's my thoughts on the sort of very standard set. The next set we've got is a very interesting set as well. It's a slight adaptation to the Assault Vest set. Well, what we're putting is we're replacing the Sludge Wave coverage to hit fairies. I think people are going to be, might be able to move that around and put superpower on here instead. Because when you run the calcs on, say, um, one of the blobs, let, let, let's say Blissey, for example. So if they decide to switch in to their, you know, their Blissey into this guy, he does 56 to 66, approximately that amount with uh, superpower, even without any attack investment and stuff like that. So you're going to be still hitting really, really hard without any investment. And um, as l if that Blissey gets worn down even a little bit, you know, you get burn on the switch, you've got stealth rocks up and stuff like that. It's very, very difficult for Blissey to not be overwhelmed by a combination of those two moves. So uh, that's why I think this move set may end up being quite popular. It just depends how much Blissey's and Chances will start to be run to actually try and counter Volcanion. Uh, the, mo the actual EV spread is very similar to the last set. They're, they're very similar, but I think the first one's going to be a bit more standard. Uh, we've got, uh, obviously, 252 in special attack to maximize that. 8 in attack uh, with a non-negative nature, because obviously we want to hit that as hard as possible. There's no point going for a negative nature on that. And negative speed on there, and that still allows you to outspeed Adamant Azumarill. Max speed Adamant Azumarill, so it should be absolutely fine. I don't think it's going to really be a problem. I mean... I can't really see too much else to try and speed creep against, but um, that's my kind of thoughts on this one. The next one is quite an interesting one, because this one's a little bit more offensive, but also contains Power Herb, which would be quite interesting, because obviously one thing that's going to be a really, really key f thing to have on your team is some form of switch in to Volcanion's Steam Eruption, if you can. Now, Water Absorb users and also Storm Drain users could become immensely popular. There's no, there's, it's very difficult to say, but it's very you know, possible that, you know, something like uh, either Seismitoad or even Gastrodon may rise a little bit in usage just as a complete stock to Volcanion. Gastrodon being a huge stock because it was this Fire Blast, was a Steam Eruption, can take superpowers, it can take practically anything apart from Solar Beams. So, having solar beam on this guy allows you to hit those things incredibly hard they switch in thinking they can wall you and then you bot them with a solar beam now you may be wondering about the speed investment as well on this guy because i'm taking this as a more offensive power hub set this allows you to outspeed adamant bishops and also adamant breloons as well so you can bop those straight away with a far last most of the time if the av set becomes standard you know they'll 
be in with their bishop and be, oh, it's fine, I can just go for a knockoff or something like that. And then you get them straight away with a, uh, you know, or something like that. And then you can go for your fire blast and take them out from there. So that's what I'm thinking with this power hub set. A little bit faster, a little bit more offensive, and the possibility to nuke things like gastrodons and potentially Vaporeons. I can't see, yeah, but Vaporeon could possibly be, but uh, basically a lot of, you know, ground water types that resist uh, the water moves. So the next one we've got is obviously the whole point about steam eruptions is it's very few switch ins and being able to have something that scarf school that's going to hit really, really hard should be a really good potential scarf. It's not going to be the fastest, but the fact that it can outspeed so many things and get a 30% chance to burn, I can see people running the set uh, quite often. So we're going to, so the moveset we've got is steam eruption, fire blast, earth power, sludge bomb, same moveset as the last one but uh, with a choice scarf, with a timid nature, just to maximize the amount of speed that you're getting. Um, obviously, for the non-physically uh, attacking ones, you'd have zero IVs of attack as well for foul plays. I think I've just forgotten to put them on there, but you, you guys can imagine that. <laughs> so uh, that's my thoughts for a potential scarf set, because that still allows you to hit fairies relatively hard. You've got earth power, so if you know that Volcanion's going to come in, then you can catch it on the switch and then potentially uh, do a good amount of damage to that. And that also may change to EQ. It just depends on usage and stuff like that. But that's something you can't really tell whether it's going to adapt or not. The next one is going to be a very, very tanky set with choice specs, which should hit incredibly hard. It goes, um, it's a sort of mixture between the offensive herb set and the standard AV set, where the, the first three moves are very, very similar. And uh, the final move is a uh, HP Grass, which... May sound a little bit weird, but it's the same concept with the herb thing. If gastrodons and stuff like that become a huge problem, then being able to catch this on the, on the switch with a uh, Specs Hidden Power Grass could be really, really key. Um, the other thing it could be, obviously, is like Sludge Bomb or anything like that is another option from there. The f and obviously, Steam Eruption with 252 Special Attack is going to be hitting like an absolute truck as well. Same with Fire Blast as well. So very, very few switch-ins, even more limited to before, because I'm pretty sure... I, I, I'm not going to calc it but, uh, at this point, but I'm pretty sure like a uh, Clefable will not be able to switch into that steamer option. So it's going to have very, very few switch-ins there. And the final one is a little bit more of a wacky set. The, all of the others, I've assumed that they're going to be very, very offensive. But I had a think and was like, actually, what would happen if we made it a more defensive set? Act a little bit more like Heatran rather than being a necessarily a very offensive tank it's just very very you know physically defensive or special defensive normally special defensive with uh heatran and uh, just designed to spread burns and status and uh just be generally quite annoying so what we've got is a move set that's basically it's designed to shuffle around opponent's team uh you can spread status as well you've got toxic so if they switch in their other volcanian or anything like that you can toxic them and there's, you know, there's no problems on that front. Steam Eruption, obviously, is probably the best one to go for because uh, being able to just spam that, get 30% chance to burn each time, you're going to be really spreading space status with this guy. Obviously, one thing, uh, one Pokemon that could be a huge problem to this set is something like, uh, you know, Subcar Mankeldeo, special setup sweepers and stuff like that, which is why I think Raw would be really, really key on this set because that stops Subcar Mankeldeo and stuff like that from setting up on you. The final move we've got here is Rest. I wasn't really too sure what to put on this, and considering this guy has, you know, no form of recovery really, if this guy was paired alongside a Aromatherapy user or something like that, then I could definitely see Rest coming into play. Uh, you could also run Resto Chesto if you wanted that little bit of longevity, but without the uh, sort of turn-by-turn -turn recovery from there. So, um, I don't know, it's very, very difficult to tell what, what sort of sets are going to be going standard, but uh, I predict at least, you know, maybe four or five of these are going to become the standard one once they come out. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. That's just me having a think about movesets and stuff like that. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys at the next one. A caddy out.